So this one says the formula for finding the perimeter P of a rectangle with length L and width W is given. So basically they're telling you here is the perimeter formula. Say it. Which formula shows how the length of a rectangle can be determined? Okay. From the perimeter and the width. You can see in the answer choices what they're saying is they want you to solve for L. They're wanting you to solve for what? So I need to take P equals 2L plus 2W, and we want to solve for what? So what do I do first to solve for L? Good. Subtract 2W on both sides like this. Now when you do that, you get P minus 2W equals what? 2L. Now I'm trying to solve for L, so what do I do now? Divide everything by 2 like this. And so I have L equals what? Not P minus 2. P divided by 2. And then notice these 2's cancel, so it's minus W like that. Now let's look. Is A the correct answer? No. no, because there's a 2 right here that's not supposed to be there. So A is wrong. Is C the right answer? No, because it has a plus and we have a what? A minus. So C is wrong. Now, to get B or D, we got to do our problem just a little different. Okay? So what I need you to do is I want you to write this step right here. And we're gonna check, we're gonna solve for L a little different. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna write P minus 2W equals 2L. And so I'm trying to solve for L, right? What's next to L? So I'm gonna divide two, but instead of dividing each piece by two, I'm gonna divide the whole left side by two, like that. And so I'll have L equals what? P minus 2W, all divided by 2. Now, I need you to understand that this right here and this right here are exactly the same. Okay? Just a little different form. So now let's go see if we can find P minus 2W all over 2 in the answer choices. Do you see P minus 2W all over 2? Yes. Yeah, right here in B. So D is wrong and B is your right answer. Okay, so you had to know that dividing 2, if I divide each thing by 2 like this, that's the same as if I just divide the whole left side by 2.